Okay, guys, welcome back. And Britain is great. Let's explore it one more time. And uh, today we're going to speak about music. So take a look at this photo. And actually, uh, there is a bunch of words there. So would you please make up sentences using these words? Uh, let's take a look. We've got here UK, greatest, home, music, worlds, then Britain, different words. Okay, so let's make up sentences. Uh, I'll start. The United Kingdom has the greatest music in the world. Or the United Kingdom is home for millions of music charts. Then uh, top artists visit greatest festivals such as Glastonbury. And then uh, the United Kingdom hosts number one music festival. Or 17 billion records are made every year. Then, oh, Adele. Adele is my favorite singer. And Billboard is one of the most famous UK charts. And there are top festivals in Britain. So, at home, practice making up sentences using all the words and if you can tie all of them into one text or one story, then that will be brilliant. Let's move on. Well, can you tell where the photographs were taken? And what can you see in the pictures? So, in the pictures, we can see crowds of people. We can also see lots of tents and a lovely English countryside and um, we can see a stage and maybe not even one stage but several stages or even more and actually guys what do you think it is it is one of the biggest music festivals in England and it's called Glastonbury we're going to talk today about this festival if you take a look, it's called Glastonbury Festival of Contemporary Performing Arts. So, you will see there not only musicians playing, you will see different types of entertainment, but of course, the main attraction, the main stages will be for the musicians. The interesting fact is that musicians of all uh, types of all kinds of music. Uh, it doesn't matter when, whether they are veterans or they are the new stars, they can come and participate in this festival. Last year they had 25 stages and I can't even count how many performers they had. I wish I were there because there were two of my favorite groups they are playing, the Chemical Brothers and Billie Eilish. So, hopefully, they will be playing one more time next year. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, before we start reading, this time it will be a reading lesson and it will be a long one, so please get ready and be patient. We need to get the new vocabulary. So, take a look. You've got their entry fee. Entry fee means the amount of money you have to pay to join in. For example, last year entry fee to the festival was nearly 400 pounds. That's expensive, but worthy. Then comes annually. Annually means that the event is held every year. So, for example, um, Billie Eilish 
has her concerts in London annually. Then comes inclusiveness, a very nice word and actually a new reality to our world. It's the quality of treating everybody equally. It means that you do not react on somebody's uh, differences, but you treat everybody equally. Then comes a nice verb to coincide. It means to occur at the same time. For example, at Glastonbury Festival, there were 25 stages, and it means that all the concerts coincided in time. Then comes solstice. Solstice is a very interesting time of the year. It happens twice. We've got a summer and winter solstice. It's when the sun reaches its highest and lowest. So one happens in December and the other happens in June. The next word is meadow. Meadow is a piece of grassland. Then comes a very interesting adjective, eclectic. Eclectic means that all styles and ideas are mixed and used together. Uh, eclectic can be clothes, eclectic can be um, music, eclectic can be festival. The festival that gathers all styles and all ideas into one melting pot. Then comes laid back. Laid back means relaxed and easygoing. What can be laid back? The atmosphere can be laid back. I wish we had laid back atmosphere at our schools, but sometimes we have to be really serious. Then comes gate crashers. Nobody loves these people. They are those who come to a party or an event without the invitation. They basically crush the gates and enter, not being invited. Then comes overcrowding. Overcrowding, crowd, a big amount of people, and overcrowding, even bigger amount of people, lots of people. Then comes wellies. Wellies are rubber boots. And you will see why you need wellies at this festival. And the last word, extortionate. Extortionate means very expensive. Okay, guys, look through once again all the words. You will need them while reading the text. So let's continue. Uh, the reading task this time will be a little bit different. We are used to true, false answers, but this time you will have an M. It means not mentioned. It means that there is no such information in the text. Uh, so, you have to read the sentences below and decide whether they are true, false or not mentioned. Let's look through the sentences. So, the first sentence. Glastonbury Festival is held in the town of Glastonbury in the southwest of England. Maybe, we don't know, it's called Glastonbury Festival. Let's check. Then, people return to the festival because of the friendly atmosphere. This can be true, but the reasons may be different. Please be aware of that and check for the evidence. Number three, the festival is held towards the end of the summer. The end of the summer means maybe August, the last days of August. And um, we'll see. Only well-known musicians perform at the festival. Maybe it's a fancy festival and only well-known musicians do perform there. The next one. In the past, many people found ways to get into the festival without a ticket. How is it possible to get into an event without a ticket? But maybe it was true. The organizers advise people to come prepared for hot weather. Well, if the festival occurs in summer, then maybe you have to be ready for the hot weather. 
but we'll check in the text. The next one. Special measures are now in place to prevent people from selling the tickets or want to make lots of money. Uh, sometimes people buy lots of tickets and then they resell them uh, to get more that they paid and that's not really good. Number eight. The festival has supported several charities since it started in 1971. So we have to check this information. Now, be patient and the reading is going to be a long one. So pay all your attention and if you need and you're watching us on YouTube, you may pause the video and read it once again. You should remember that you are allowed to read the text as many times as you need during your test, but you have to remember about the time limit. Okay, let's start reading. So, the first paragraph, and let's dive in. Glastonbury Festival is one of the most famous music festivals in the world. It was set up by Somerset farmer Michael Evers in 1971, and the entry fee for the first festival was just one pound, which included free milk from the farm. The festival is held annually in the small village of Pilton in the southwest of England and is overlooked by Glastonbury Tor. This area is surrounded by many myths and legends and it is even thought that King Arthur was buried there. Glastonbury draws in people from many different walks of life and one of the reasons that people come back is the sense of community and inclusiveness that is associated with the festival. It usually takes place on the last weekend of June to coincide with the summer solstice. In the 1990s, a stone circle was built in the south meadow of the farm and aligned to the solstice. The music is varied and big stars mix with new artists to form an eclectic range of events. Many well-known artists, including Oasis, Coldplay, Radiohead, Rem, Manic Street Preachers and the White Stripes have all performed at the festival. The English National Opera even featured in 2003. However, Although Glastonbury is most famous for music, there are several other types of entertainment on offer, including comedy, dance, theater, and circus performances, even rock climbing. The festival has a colorful history and has continued to rise in popularity over the years. Despite the laid-back, friendly atmosphere, Glastonbury has often encountered problems with gate crushers, which all came to a head in 2000, when serious overcrowding was a problem. 150,000 people managed to get in without tickets, and this led to the festival's organizers deciding to take a year off in 2001 to allow themselves time to sort out new security measures and make some organizational improvements. An external company, Min Fiddler Organization, now look after security at the event. The weather hasn't always been kind to festival goers. In 2005, bad thunderstorms led to many areas of the site being flooded and some of the stages were even struck by lightning. General advice to visitors is to bring a good pair of wellies and a waterproof jacket, and to be prepared to face long queues for the toilets. In 2007, tickets cost £145 for all three days and sold out just 1 hour 45 minutes. In order to combat uh, the problem of totes buying large numbers of tickets and ripping people off by selling them for extortionate prices through websites such as eBay, visitors must now undergo a pre-registration process. 
This involves providing some personal information and a passport sized photo. Some of the profits from the festival are usually donated to charity and organizations such as CND, Oxfam and Greenpeace have all benefited in the past. In return, Oxfam help organized volunteers to work at the festival. What a long task we read. Okay guys, uh, in case you need to read it once again and you're watching us on YouTube, you can do it. Just stop the video and read the abstract you need to read once again. Now, let's go back to the task. So once again, I have to remind you that this time the sentences are not only true or false. There is also a sentence which is not mentioned. So the information that was not mentioned in the text. Okay, so look through once again the whole range of questions and then we'll start doing the task. Okay, okay guys, so let's see. Uh, Glastonbury Festival is held in the town of Glastonbury in the southwest of England. This statement is false, though it is called a Glastonbury Festival, but it is held annually in the small village of Pilton in the southwest of England and is overlooked by Glastonbury Tour, but not in the town of Glastonbury. Okay, the next statement. The next statement is true. People return to the festival because of the friendly atmosphere. And in the text, we have the synonyms to this phrase. In the text, it is stated that Glastonbury draws in people from many different walks of life. And one of the reasons that people come back is the sense of community and inclusiveness. So, when you have this sense of community and inclusiveness, it means that you are surrounded with friends and the whole overall atmosphere is friendly. The next statement. The festival is held towards the end of summer. Right, maybe you got on this distractor that the festival usually takes place on the last weekend of June. But actually, the last weekend of June is not the end of the summer. So the statement is false. The next statement. Only well-known musicians perform at the festival. The statement is false because the music is varied and big stars mix with new artists to form an eclectic range of events. Do you remember this word, eclectic? different ideas, different styles, all together in one melting pot. Okay, ready for the next sentence? Here it comes. And it is true. So, in the past, many people found ways to get into the festival without a ticket. Do you remember the word from the vocabulary bank? The gate crusher. So, the gate crusher is someone who gets into your event or your party without being invited. And uh, this happened to Glastonbury Festival. The numbers are outstanding. They're really enormous. Like 150,000 people managed to get in without tickets. I can't imagine this amount of people coming to a festival even. That's kind of a town for us. Okay, so sentence number six. And it is false. The organizers advise people to come prepared for hot weather. Well, though it happens in summer, but you know that the climate of Great Britain is different from ours and it can be really rainy in summers, 
And the general advice to those who come to the festival is to bring a good pair of wellies and a waterproof jacket to be prepared to face long queues for the toilets because there, there were lots of rains and once even the whole festival was flooded. Okay, number seven. And it is true. Special measures are now in place to prevent people from selling the tickets on to make lots of money. Right, and visitors now must undergo a pre-registration process so that the organizers would be uh, sure that that was you who bought the ticket and that is you who is going to come to the festival and that you are not going to resell this ticket at a very expensive price. And the last one. You see, the color is different. It means that this information was not mentioned in the text. The statement says, the festival has supported several charities since it started in 1971. The true fact is that, really, the festival started in 1971, but it is not stated in the text that it started supporting several charities since its beginning. So you can read in the text that some of the profits from the festival are usually donated to charity and organizations such as Oxfam and so on. But it is not stated in the text that they started this tradition in 1971. So guys, this is the first time we had such a non-mentioned statement in the text. Be aware in some of your texts, you may have during your external assessment or during the other tests of English you're going to take, there may be such kind of a task. Okay, guys, uh, you asked me lots of questions on Instagram about phrasal verbs and the best way to learn them. The best way to learn them is, of course, just learn them. Make up sentences, use Quizlet, make your flashcards, and, of course, practice. In this text, there were lots of phrasal verbs. Let's look through some of them. So, they were set up, come back, search out, draw in, get in, look after, lead to, rip off. Once again, you may pause this video and try to find all these um, phrasal verbs in the text. It will help you to get the meaning. But this time I will help you and I've got the definitions. So, to establish something means to set up. For example, you can set up a business or you can set up a festival. Then, to result in means to lead to. You are leading to the results. Lead, the leader. And it means to result in. The next one to charge excessively or obtain money unfairly. It means to rip off, like rip, rip, to rip off. So it means when you have to pay a lot, but that's not fair. Then comes to enter, to enter a very easy one to get in. This in will help you that you understand that you have to enter something. So. The next one, to take care of, it means to look after. For example, I'm looking after my younger sister. I'm taking care of her. Then comes to organize or solve something. It means to sort out. Okay, let's sort out this problem. Let's solve it. The next comes to return to or revisit some, uh, somewhere. It means to come back. You remember people come back to the festival, so they revisit this festival, they return to this festival. And the last one is to attract and engage someone to participate in something. It means to draw in, so it can draw your attention, you can be drawn in to something. Okay, guys, I hope that you really use Quizlet and I hope that you will make the list of phrasal verbs to help you along with the vocabulary you had in the beginning of the lesson. Now, guys, 
um, your home task. You have to organize your own summer festival. Please use the questions below as a guide to help you plan your summer festival. So where will the festival be held? What will you call your festival? How long will it be? What type of entertainment will be provided? What type of music there will be? Will there be a campsite? Will people eat or drink? Uh, what other facilities you may have there? How much it will cost? And how will you advertise your festival? And will you donate any of the profits to a charity? So if you answer all these questions, even in two or three sentences, you will have a very nice speech about your festival. If you add a presentation, then it will be a very nice project to do and to plan your summer festival. You have to remember that all your dreams may come true. You are the biggest dreamer in your life. And please be sure that one day all your dreams may come to life. And a bonus is the Kahoot. I made a game and I will share a link with you so that you can play with your friends. It's about British music. Okay, guys, British music is very interesting and it's not only about the Beatles or the Queen. Listen to it, enjoy it and stay tuned.